In this video, we're going to take a look at the Laser Pecker 2. Alright guys, so I got another cool product to share with you guys. This is the Laser Pecker 2. Now this has actually been out for a little while, but I was just able to get my hands on it. And this is a cool laser engraver. I've done reviews on laser engravers in the past, multiple different brands. But this one is unique because it's a super fast handheld laser engraver and cutter. Super easy to use and it does work with your app on your phone, whether it's Android or Apple. So let's go ahead and get inside the box. All right, so as you guys can see, everything was packaged very nicely. Here's everything you're gonna get with your Laser Packer 2. Pretty simple, you're gonna get your base plate, you get this adjustable plate that's gonna raise and lower your XO engraver, you get some safety glasses, you get the ruler, you get your power cables, some screws, and then they give you a little pack here of material that you can practice on. So we'll go ahead and put this together. Super easy to do, that's what I, one of the things I really like about this. So you're just gonna take your height adjustable bracket and you're just going to screw it in the bottom and I like that they have these thumb screws that you use to tighten this down when you're putting this together on the stand because the cool thing about this and I'll show you guys later is how portable this is so you can literally take it anywhere you're just going to use this top portion you're not going to use this adjustable portion or the base stand and you can literally walk around with it in your hand and just engrave stuff like I said I'll show you that in a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stand they do provide you with some screws like I said super easy they do give you an extra screw so if you do lose one they do got you covered there got your allen wrench all right I got my base plate in I'm actually gonna flip this around because I had that position in the wrong way Tighten this back down. Really nice how they got that thumb screw there. And then that's what it's going to look like once you got it all put together. Super easy, quick, and then you're just going to plug in your power cords and you're ready to start engraving. Alright guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and moved the Laser Pecker 2 over to my engraving table where I got my other engravers. This is pretty much where I do all my work. I got everything plugged in. Pretty easy to do, just plug and play once you got it all put together. Power up, you're gonna see this light blinking blue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a blue blinking light there. It's an indicator light, and you're going to connect it Bluetooth through your phone, tablet, whatever device that you might have. Download the app, real easy to do, and then you just connect it through Bluetooth. Once you get the app uploaded and it's connected, it's gonna have you do a registration, and then the app will pop up. You can go ahead and go into clip art. They actually have some stuff that's already in the system, in the app, that you can pick from, or you can put your own pictures in. So we'll go ahead and pick one of these and we'll do a test run to see how this works. All right guys, so before we go ahead and engrave anything, there's three ways to calibrate this machine. If you got the shield on, the shield is removable. If you got the shield on, all you're gonna do is lower it until the shield touches your material that you're engraving on, and that's gonna calibrate the height for this. So you just lower it down by using these buttons on the side here. And there's a built-in motor that assists you when you're lowering it. So you just wanna make sure that this shield is lowered onto your project. Now, in some projects, you might not want to use the shield. The shield can be removed by just sliding it off. They just got some hooks in there, it just slides on and off. You can unplug it from the back, put it off to the side. As you guys see, everything just plugs right into the back of the Laser Pecker 2. So if you're not using the shield, just go ahead and you're going to unplug it. And just in case you guys didn't know, this does have a fan built in also to be able to add some ventilation when the shield is being used. So it's a nice little touch to that. So now that we have the shield off, there's two ways that you can calibrate the height on this now. You can use the provided ruler that they give you and the height that they suggest is 11 centimeters. So say for instance, you're doing a coaster, go ahead, put the coaster right on the work surface and then you're gonna measure 11 centimeters. 
So there you go, you're gonna want to measure 11 centimeters from your project, and that's gonna calibrate it for the right height. Now the third way is if you do have a full sheet that covers up this whole space, there is a drop down leg right on the side here, and then that's gonna help you calibrate your project for the height. So just make sure that that leg is right on the top of your project. So three different ways to calibrate it to get your height adjustment correct. We'll do this boom. This is pretty cool. So I'll just hit next. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. And then right here, it's going to ask you for the sizing. You can change the file name, stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll do three inches wide. And then the height will be almost two inches. Go ahead and hit next. It's going to ask for the password that you put in earlier to set up your account. So now the file is in transit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's sending the file to the engraver and it should start engraving. So there we go. All right guys, so we're all finished. And we'll go ahead and check this out. So there you go. Pretty nice. Now this is just scrap wood, nothing special about it. But it looks like that came out pretty decent, I like that. All right guys, so that came out pretty good. And just so you guys know, they got tons of clip art on here, different categories, also up at the top. Not sure if you can see that. So tons of stuff to pick from, which is nice. But I'm gonna try a different project here. I'm actually not gonna use what's inside of the app. I'm gonna pull up something out of my gallery and see how well that works. So I like this little saying here, nice like little motivational saying. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on one of the sample pieces that they gave me. I already took the shield off because I'm going to try it without the shield. When you don't use the shield, make sure you use the safety glasses or you'll burn your eyeballs out. We're going to go ahead and set this to 11 centimeters. Already there, so the ruler's 11 centimeters and I can flip down this arm just to double check. So everything's good there. So there it is in the app. I'm going to play with it a little bit. I'm going to invert this. So it looks like that. And I think I'm going to change the lettering a little bit. <clears throat> Go ahead and change it to pencil, and then I'll sharpen it up. Got a bunch of little different settings down here that you can help adjust your picture. So that's what it's gonna look like. So I think that looks pretty good. So another thing I wanna show you guys is you can preview your project. So that square there, that blue square, is letting you know where this engraver is going to engrave. So as you guys can see, I'm a little bit off there. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over so that it's actually centered up. All right, so that's better. We'll go ahead, put our glasses on, and we will start engraving. So like I said, make sure you go ahead and put your safety glasses on. Alright guys, so it just finished up and we'll go ahead and take a look at it here. So I did adjust the depth so it'd be a little bit deeper than the previous project I did, but I think it turned out pretty good. Looks sweet, centered up perfectly. Got a little bit of burn. If you look real close, but that was due to me messing with the settings to have to get used to them turned it up a little bit too hot but pretty nice I like it nothing a little bit of sandpaper can't fix to clean that up alright guys so probably one of my favorite features on this laser packer is once you remove it from the stand it is now totally portable so this little lightweight compact laser engraver is now become handheld you just use the handle and you pretty much can go anywhere and laser anything that you want. 
your only limitations is your extension cord or where you have this plugged in at. But what I like to do is I got this portable power station and I just plug this into the portable power station, power it up, and now I can go anywhere with this and go ahead and engrave stuff. So we're gonna demonstrate this real quick here, guys. I got this just hooked up to my power station, but like I said earlier, you can just plug this into an outlet, run an extension cord if you need more length. But say for instance, I wanna do a little design on this cabinet, instead of taking the cabinet off and then having to you know, do the design in a traditional engraver, I can just take this laser pecker and then just press it up against here, start the process, and it will engrave. One thing I do recommend, make sure that you have this in the right orientation so your image isn't upside down. So the only thing I didn't like about the laser pecker is it does not say how long it's going to take to engrave your image. It'll show how far along it, it is and the percentage that's done, but it doesn't say how much longer it's gonna take. So depending on your image, you might be holding this for a while. All right guys, so like I said, that is another way to be able to use this. So if you wanna take it over to a table, anything really, it's just super portable now. All right guys, so I got another product here by LaserPecker. This is their electric roller. So this is an attachment that's gonna make this laser engraver way more versatile. If you're familiar with laser engravers, they do have a roller system attachment sometimes that allows you to engrave cups, glasses, any round objects like this. This also has another feature that I wanted to show you guys that's pretty cool. All right guys, so besides being able to do some engraving on a cylinder object, this has two more modes which makes this pretty unique. The next mode I'm gonna show you is called slab mode. So this is where if you got a long piece of wood, you can put this on here and then this, these rollers are going to move this back and forth allowing it to engrave right on top there. This is where these rollers are going to be able to come in handy. So like I said, they're right on the bottom here, just magnetic. They're just magnetic. So you can put that there and then depending on how long your project is, you can put one in the back, put one right here in the front, and then this will help stabilize your project as it's moving back and forth. All right guys, so there you go. As you've seen, that was slab mode. And that's what it looks like, not bad. Now I have noticed, if you don't have a perfectly flat piece of wood, if it's a little rough, got some knots in it and stuff, sometimes it just, this doesn't want to roll perfectly smooth and it might get a little crooked on you with these rollers. So make sure that the wood you're using is, uh, isn't bumpy or got any ridges in it, kind of like this one does. This is just a scrap piece that I used but it does have some bumps and grooves in it and that's going to mess up your engraving but all in all not too bad all right guys so this is the last mode and probably one of the coolest modes i think this is called trolley mode so literally you have the rollers on the bottom and these are going to act like wheels to guide the laser across your project Pretty cool. So obviously I took off the base. Don't need that anymore. All you need is the rollers and then this bracket that came with it. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put these rollers that are found underneath. You're going to put them right there and that's going to help balance it. But this is pretty cool guys. So I'll show you how this works. The way this works is you only can go as wide as the laser pecker allows you to, but as far as length, you can go all the way down this board if you wanted to.
So as you guys can see, it's engraving, and then it's actually rolling backwards very slowly. So it's using the rollers as pretty much wheels to be able to track down the length of this board. set so that's what it looks like so that right there is a foot long and like it says I could even went farther if I wanted to but I just want to do example for you guys so pretty cool it's definitely a unique way of engraving with a small engraver definitely like that idea all right, guys, so there you go. A rundown of the Laser Pecker 2 along with the electric rollers for the Laser Pecker. This thing, I got to admit, I really like it. Small, compact, and extremely versatile. I like all the different ways that you can use this. I got my X-Tool over here that I've been using. But I'll tell you what, this thing is a lot of fun. I really like that you can just carry this around and just start engraving anything. And for the most part, everything came out pretty good. Like I said, I still got to play with the settings a little bit to get a better idea of what works on what type of material. But pretty good. I like it. I think that the trolley mode is really cool. I like how that you can just run down a board and just keep on engraving. Right now, I'm just doing a cork coaster. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing some more projects, guys. If you got any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll make sure I put links for the Laser Pecker 2 also in the description box. Click on those links if you're interested for more information or maybe even to purchase one of these. Hopefully you guys found the video useful. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Until the next one, guys, I'll talk to you later.